What's going on everybody? This is Nader29 coming at you doing some commentary for Bobby Barks' 4v4 tournament. In this one we have Anti-Clan versus the Schmecklers. Looks like we're going to switch over to ADTR's life's perspective on the bookstore here. His teammate goes down. He's coming in. He's got the burst rifle. Looks like he's going to go for the revive. And he is going to get that revive off and he's going to back up a little bit. Take a look around. Doesn't see anybody. Now we're going to switch over to Pierce in the game's perspective. His teammates fall out of the sky. He's got enemies falling out of the sky. He hits him with the hunting rifle revolver combo. Beautifully done. And he's going to push up a little bit. Oh, and he's got Stanley Kubrick off to his side there. He goes for the headshot but doesn't get it. But his teammates are right there to back him up and they get the down. Now he's got somebody going upstairs in the library. He's going to give chase. And he's heading upstairs there to challenge him. And oh, let's see here. He's oh, he's got one right in the window looking at him. He throws a smoke at him, gets down. His teammate's right there to get the revive off though. And he's gonna fall back. Oh, he gets the headshot on ADTR, going up for another headshot. Oh, he doesn't get it. Not to worry though, his teammates are right there to give him some support. And looks like he might get revived. Yep, think friends he's going for the revive. Gets that off. We're gonna switch over to Monkey Banana's perspective here. Oh my goodness. What is this legendary loadout? He has got covert training and a burst rifle. Gets the beautiful one burst down. He's got more people in front of him. He's gonna upgrade that burst rifle. Heal up a little bit. Oh, he's got smoke coming in. Let's see. Oh, it appears his teammates, his enemies have forgotten about him over there as they were distracted fighting everybody else. So Monkey's gonna take that down. And Frenzy went down, I don't know what to, but Monkey's got one ahead of him here, throwing a bomb at him. He's gonna rush in with his shorty. He's gonna get the down with his shorty. Frenzy is once again down for the second time in 10 seconds. Feeding his teammates 100 parts each. Now we're back on Monkey Banana's perspective here. Let's see, he's coverting around again. He's got people ahead of him on the staircase. Looks like he's gonna walk up to him. Goes for the burst, misses. Looks like he's out of ammo now. Gonna rush in with the shorty. Gets the execution there. Gonna fall back. He sees that guy upstairs. He's gonna grab some ammo, maybe. Yep. Oh, and he's getting shot while he's grabbing his ammo. And he is not down, though. Because the enemy's throwing bombs and burst rifle bullets all over the place. Switch over to Pierce in the game's perspective here. Let's see. He's got enemies all around him. He sees somebody up top. Goes for the shot. Oh, gets the headshot there. Beautifully done. Beautiful. He's not an enemy. He goes for the revolver. Nope, doesn't get it. I'm going to switch over to ADTR's life's perspective here. Coming upstairs with the burst rifle to give him some teammates some support here. Let's see what he can do. Alright. His whole team is down. He's going to craft for a little bit here. Running crafter 3, maybe. Throws a Molotov in there, doesn't get anybody with it. And he's got enemies closing in on his position. Beautiful shooting through the railing there. Throws a bomb down. Doesn't get anybody with that. And let's see, he's got two downstairs in front of him. Shooting through the railing again, beautiful. Oh, now we're going to switch over to Pierce in the game's perspective. He's got armor. Ooh. Explosion expert, beautiful. Crimson King downs Pierce with the variable rifle after explosion expert stunning him. Monkey Banana's coming in with the shorty now as he's out of ammo with the burst. Oh, he's charging. And he gets the beautiful down with that shorty. And looks like Big Monkey went down. Monkey Bananas is gonna go help a monkey brother out and get the reef. Oh, nope, he's gonna let him die. Never mind. And Monkey's got a couple on him. He goes for the one-two punch there. Doesn't get it. Pierce in the game's coming down. Gets the down on him. 
Looks like Pierce is get, gonna get the revive off on Monkey Bananas. Beautiful. And oh my goodness. Looks like Anti Clan is already on their last lives here. Let's see. We have ADTR again crafting a Molly and a bomb. He's gonna go, he's gonna give his teammates a gift here. Giving his teammates a smoke bomb by his armor. I see he's got that specter there. He's waiting to pull that out. And his, te his, his teammate is gone. Okay. That man just disappeared. Alright, he's got his molly out looking to do some damage here. Oh, he sees somebody ahead of him. Goes for the molly. Gets it. Beautiful. Throwing his bomb down there. Beautiful. Let's switch back to Monkey Banana's perspective over here. Let's see. He's falling back, trying to get his teammates back with him. Gonna hit that boxer in a second there. Grab some, grab some supplies. Craft a molly, maybe a oh smoke bomb there. All right, and he's gonna walk up those stairs. Probably a culvert there, and he's gonna come up right behind him. Oh, nope, he sees somebody downstairs. Oh, let's see. Hovering around, he doesn't see anybody there upstairs. Looks like he's gonna go up those staircase. Gonna sneak up on him a little bit. And his enemies, or his friends are marking the enemies for him. Throws a molly in there, gets the molly down. Enemies charging in. Oh, and he gets down, almost had him. But his teammate Big Monkey right there, helping another monkey brother out. Oh, nope. They get shot in the back, and now they are both down. Oh, looks like ADTR is going to go for the special instead of getting that revive right away. And ADTR isn't going to be able to get that revive off because he went for the special execution, but he will buy more armor, it looks like. Because he is now the last man standing, maybe hoping to get a box here. He just got more specter ammo. He's already uh, ruined someone's day with that. And he's gonna rush up here. He gets it down with a bomb. Ah! No, he's surrounded. He's just going smoke at him. He's gonna get rushed and he gets shivved on the staircase. Beautiful. GG's, guys. Congratulations to the Schmecklers. And shout out to Bobby Burks for letting me do this commentary too. I appreciate that. What's going on everybody? It's Tombo recording at 5 a.m. in the morning. The commentary for the match between Lord Sirs and the Anti Clan. It looks like the Lord Sirs are in party chat making a plan for the end in case everything goes to shit. It's Lord Sir Andy, Barry, Tony, and Musty against Kubrick. Oh, it looks like Andy got a down already. Very nice, very nice. Versus Kubrick, Atris, the Dawn, and uh, Crimson King, I believe. Um, the first encounter going on right now. Tony is scoping down the sight line, and he gets another down. That's 2 4 0. Um, they're pushing him before he gets healed. It's nice to have, wow, it's nice to have these kinds of comms um, to hear, like, a real good team. Of players just talking, see how they how they use, you know, their logic, their years of experience to to deduce how to um, attack a situation like this. The anti clan lost their first encounter. Atris is the only survivor. He's sneaking around, but I think somebody might have spotted him already. Um, looks like he took down Musty, but he went down himself. Anyways, one down is not so bad. Oh, no, that's not so bad. He's resisting. Lord Sir Andy showing this man here how a real internet connection plays. Gets the down, gets the headshot. Two down, can he get the third? No, he's down, but it doesn't matter because Lord Sir came in to save him. Looks like uh, Anti Clan lost a second encounter. Things are not looking too bright. Things are actually looking exceptionally dark for the Anti Clan. Third encounter coming up, Lord Sir Barry walking in with the uh, burst, no covert, so they can already kind of see him. I think somebody threw a Molotov from behind one of his teammates. 
Crimson King at his flank. Uh, Musty's pushing in. Both take down Crimson King. That leaves, I think, just one person down there or two. I think they might have all spawned in by now. Um, they're pushing in. They've got the high ground. Uh, I think the Don over there is he's he's trapped behind cover. There's enough. There's a st third one down there. And Musk is gonna finish him off with the combo. And the other guy's down. Don's down. That's another notch on the belt for the Anti Clan. Here we've got Stanley Kubrick. Um, He's crafting some stuff. He's getting the welfare. He's got Crafter 3? Yeah, he's got Crafter 3. He didn't... No, Crafter 2, because he didn't make a, a package, I think. I'm not sure why you would put on a perk that really doesn't help in the, the combat, but... I'm guessing they're banking on the welfare, maybe, uh, in case... Because if I saw Lord Series, I'd probably be like, yeah, we're, we got a plan for the end game. Um... I'm infamously a pup scrub, so it, like I said, it's nice to hear the other end of the of the spectrum here. Um, not not sweats, but oh, Stanley peeked out and got his head popped off for it. Crimson King holding the line against two. Don coming in for the save, I think. Hopefully, he's got Reviver three. Nice customization. Um, I changed the hat on that though. And that's not what this match is about. Somebody's down down there. I think Crimson took him out. Stanley pushing to challenge Musty down there. He misses the first burst, but he's pushing out. Very brave of him. He got one shot in. Musty misses burst. He's reloading, but looks like Stanley took the win on this one. Has three bullets left. Uses them all to finish Musty off and gets through back. Now that's what I call a profitable investment. Creating a Molotov, gonna go rescue Atrus. Nope, nope, nope. He's uh, <laughs> he's showing his domination over uh, the obstacle there with the Molotov, and he goes down to Lord Sir Twenty from across the hall. Barry pushing in. Nine millimeter action. Who's gonna win? And that's going to Barry. They might have combined from together, I think, but either way, I don't think it would have gone any other way. Did he have a helmet on? I wasn't looking. Um, Anticlan losing by 10 spawns. Crimson King, Covert Training 3, very smart. Uh, but on a map like this, I don't think it matters too, too much. Atris is getting the Welfare. He's got a Spectre, one of the better purchasables besides uh, the purchasable shotgun. Um, silent and quick. Make a mess out of your enemy. Somebody's already dead. It's 3v4 now. Wow, that's a that's a very scary sight for Atrius, I bet. Somebody's pushing up, he's gonna pre-throw a smoke, see if he can get him. He was on the target, but without bomb expert, he just didn't get anybody, he's not gonna push him. Finishes off somebody over there with the Spectre, he's just up about 10 bullets. Atrius down, everybody atop him, he's gonna, he's gonna push, challenge. No. <clears throat> They had the high ground too much, man. This is this is just peak Star Wars, you know. You don't push the high ground. All he sees is your head. All he sees is your head, man. He, he should have tried to back up the stairs or something, but it is what it is. I think Lord Chews are coming in to finish off the match now, um, unless Kubrick and the Anti Clan have a trick up their sleeve, which will honestly make for a really fun entertaining um, video but uh, you know it ain't Hollywood unfortunately well nice and mark then down with two bombs but he sees him hasn't healed yet it only took like one shot to finish him but he's getting covered from the from the back there Andy pushing in he gets a nice down there with the hunting rifle I hope that was a headshot because that was real nice um, Andy here with the sniper rifle about to finish the last two off. Misses the shot, but I don't think it's gonna matter because he pushes out and gets down. Who's that, Kubrick? Oh, it's somebody. Somebody dead. Down, nice big time, Andy. That was real nice, man. Kudos, dude. Much respect. Only real OGs used the big time. Um, so don't use it unless you're a real OG. Last guy in, I think that might be Crimson. Crimson's got armor, yep, covert three. 
He still have his armor. Who knows? He's throwing a smoke to try to cover his back, but he it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's too many bullets coming in, and just nothing to do about it. Anyways, good match between Lorchers and the Anti Clan. Uh, wish you luck, Lorchers, on your next match. Uh, this has been Tomboy. Bye bye, everybody. Hey guys, this is Pure Nightmare here doing the commentary for the third time after realizing I had the wrong microphone selected for Bobby Bucks 4v4 round 3 Lords of Us versus the Schmecklers. And we're starting with Lord Sir Andy here going for the long range snipe on dam. He's purist, gets one body shot, purist hills. The Schmecklers choosing burst rifle. Kind of keeping that social distance in a thing. Just having a sit. Okay, cool. Back with Lords of Us. <laughs> Lords of Us just having a bit of a dance. Oh, one goes down. That Reviver 3 in action. Lord Sir Andy gets one down. Four Guy 3 playing a part, maybe. And it does go down. Looks like they're all running Reviver 3. Smart. Someone's a healer. A reviver action going. Oh! Can he reload? He can. And Lords of Us take that huge encounter and take the lead. Good job, guys. That Reviver 3 played a massive part there, I think. Good plan. Lords of Andy running back to spawn. But they've spawned the other end. Oh. oh, tactical retreat back down. Big monkey getting tagged from all angles, left with a smidgen of health, manages to heal. Someone down at the box. Lord's bus pushing in. Barry with the burst goes in with the smoke, does get it. Gets the down with the burst and revolver. Good play. Carrying on going down now, taking the flank. And Lords of Us take that encounter as well. Absolutely dominating right now they are. 18 to 12 after four minutes. Let's see. Body shot on Big Monkey. Heels up. Monkey Bananas is in trouble. Purist is in trouble. He sees everyone there. Molly misses. They get hit with the smoke and oh dear. Lords of Us just rush in. And okay, okay, so we're with Monkey Bananas now and he has the tack on. He sees Crab walking towards the old box. Again, keeping that social distance in a thing. And I'm thinking, what's he doing? He might just be waiting till one of them's left. He's only got one smoke, so a molly would have been very nice then. Again, we're just having a think. What's going to happen? Coming up behind. I think two of them went right, so he's coming up behind Tony and Musty. Is he going to get the shiv on Musty? He is. Nice. And then a Molly comes in, he gets one shot and then a bit of fisting and job done. Nice play there by the Schmecklers. Patience is not patience is the key, see? It's not always about acting like you're in COD. <laughs> Okay, back with Lords of Us now. 15 to... Is that 8 or 6? Wow, lots of throwables. A spud launcher as well. Someone's got the dinner lady. Bomb to the left, bomb to the right. More smokes coming in tonight, Matthew. I am going to be... Oh my days. 
Oh, nice shots on Andy through the smoke. Oh, that Reviver 3, not quite quick enough. Good lord. I think everybody threw everything they had then. Oh, he just gets purist. Just in time. Right, we're back with the Schmecklers now. And they are down 8 to 13. I'm gonna bomb bank this. Does he get it? No, he doesn't. They're pushing on Barry, I think that was. Two versus one. Barry is... Barry's down. <clears throat> okay, he got the down. What can Big Monkey do now with Pure? Purist has gone down. What's he gonna do now? Gonna wait, he's got eight bullets in his burst. He's got that twat back. Oh, I think he was hoping they wouldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> they did indeed see him. Alright, back with Big Monkey now. We've got the burst action going, we've got full armour. Someone with the semi? Oh, some picture in picture action. We've got Big Monkey taking on some people on the dam, and we've got Lords of Us doing a one on one with a shorty. Absolute build. Both shots now on Lords of Us. Going into Barry. I'm not quite sure what just happened. There was a lot of action there on two screens. But we're with Lords of Us. We're with Andy. 11-3. Five minutes left. I think Lords of Us are going to take this. Walking right into a shorty. Uh, with a lag twat back. That was uh, interesting. <laughs> lag played a part there. Oh. Okay, so Andy misses that shot, misses that shot, misses that shot. They look like they should be landing. And he's finally down. Andy might be lagging a little bit there. Those shots look like they should have hit. Nice headshot there. By Andy and it is last man standing can the Schmeckles pull off a 1v14 comeback in four minutes the Schmeckler's there just uh, having a think contemplating life seeing where they're gonna go he can't get that box that's at spawn he's already had that we're just wondering how to go out in a blaze of glory. We've got no throwables. So now, Lords of Us play hide and seek. I'm gonna just try and find out where he is. Are we all excited for part two? I know I am. I've got my Ellie edition pre-ordered. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> I think he's just given up, he realises. Not quite the blaze of glory I thought he'd go out in, but uh, well done, Lords of Us. Uh, good match. And uh, well done, guys. That is it for Group A, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on your screen, Lord Sirs in green. Top the group with two wins from two. The Schmecklers coming in second. One win out of their two. And Anticlan are going home after suffering two defeats. The Schmecklers will go through to a loser's bracket. Lord Sirs progress through to the semi-finals. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.